So is the Nano Flash 700 Pro the best racket in this series? Which racket is the most value for money or which racket is the best for a beginner? Today, we're going to answer all these questions. So today we're going to review the second gen of the Nano Flash 700. Right. If you haven't watched the review for the 700 Pro, click on the link somewhere on the screen. Right. But today we're going to compare the rest of the series. Uh, right. There's the Nano Flash 700 Tour, Nano Flash 700 Game and Play. So when it comes to the measurements or the statistics, right, the first three rackets are almost identical. Right. We're talking about the Pro, the Tour and the game. And one important thing is that all three rackets has the energy booster cap except for the play. And this really makes a difference in the feeling uh, when you hit the shutter. Next, we're going to talk about the performance in the court. We're going to further break down into four subcategories. Ease of use, speed, power, and the feeling. For the ease of use, most of the racket felt the same, right? So I gave all of them a 4 out of 5 star except for the play. The play really feels different when you hit the shutter. It feels a little bit weird. So for that, it has affected the score for ease of use and the feeling. So for the speed, right, because all of it is still like a head-like balance, uh, it is still very, very fast in the court. Uh, I think one of the, if not the fastest racket that you can get out there. So for that, I will still give it a 5 out of 5 star for all 4 rackets. When it comes to the power, the Pro and the Tour is rather similar. But very strangely, I feel that the tour can deliver a little bit more power. I don't know the science behind it, but for me, when I hit it, when I smash, it does feel like it transfers the power a little bit better. So for the game, I give it a 3 out of 5 star because uh, it's even less powerful than the Pro and the tour. And for the play, it's even less powerful and I'll give it only 2.5 star out of 5 star. It really feels too weird for me. So next, we come to the feeling uh, of the racket when we hit the shutter. So you can see these two axes over here, right? This is the short and long and then this is the reactive or stable. So this is where I will place the four different rackets. Now what's interesting to note is that for the 700 Tour, I will say that it feels more reactive than the Pro. So I actually like the exciting feeling and the, the reactive feeling that I get out of it. Right. And you can see that I rank it very low uh, for the game and the play in terms of um, the feeling. I feel like the vibration stays too long in your hand. It's very difficult to describe, right? But what I want to say is that when I smash or when I lock, the vibration continues to linger in your hand and it doesn't feel good. So when it comes to the appearance for all four racket, you can see that it's mostly the same. It comes in the two different sets of colours. How you can identify the difference is in the words along the frame. Right, so you will see the word tour, game and play. Right, only the pro doesn't have any words on the frame. And now for the final recommendation. So this may be shocking to people, okay? But I think the most value for money racket is the tour. Even though I'm very used to using professional racket, but because of the way it feels in your hand and the performance it delivers, I don't think it's worth paying $80 extra for the pro or when the tour is not that much different. I would say that even if you're on a very tight budget, uh, try to at least go for the game rather than the play. Right? The feeling that play has in your hand is really too different from the rest. The vibration stays in your hand, it doesn't feel clean, and the performance ultimately loses out to the rest of the racket. Thank you for watching this episode. I hope that you have enough information uh, to know what is the best racket for you and how to make your next purchase, okay? So if you haven't watched my racket review for the Pro, please click somewhere here. Please go and watch that. And let me know what is the next racket you want me to review. Bye.